On the day you are born, your birthday is engraved in the book of life. It is your beginning. Then there is a dash, and as we pass, a second date is added to the end of the dash. These dates mark our beginning to our end. What is important is how you live your life during that dash. Don't waste it. You see, that dash is a small spark that separates those dates. And that dash is what symbolizes your life. So Alex and Katrina, live your life like there's no tomorrow. Don't look back and live with no regrets. This is not easy for me. Thomas Alexander Fury. I never wanted to give my daughter a life. My little baby. But I did. Oh my God, look at how beautiful you look. Oh my God. So ladies and gentlemen. As beautiful as ever. Katie and I proudly present to you our daughter and our son-in-law, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Alexander Fury. One of the most remarkable moments in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and amazing place. The person whom you share a special bond with that it transcends normal relationships uh, and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine living the rest of your life without them. Wow. For Al and Katrina, that happened about eight years ago when they first met. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> I remember seeing how into Katrina Al was. You look so amazing. Glad you were there that wow. <laughs> it looks great. The restaurant. You look good. Just the way that he looked at her, he was just smitten. Because I got to say, so I'm in love with you. What are we going to do? Katrina, on the other hand, <laughs> not so much. Uh, she played hard to get and made I'll work hard for that first date. What are we going to do now? After thorough dedication to constantly sliding in her DMs and relentless pursuit, Katrina finally agreed to go meet Al and some friends. He asked Katrina to be his girlfriend that night, and now we're here today. You make me feel loved, protected, boy, we could talk forever on the couch, sipping bourbon, please. Katrina was my roommate, and Al was Larry's roommate, oh. and we just, we knew that they would be perfect for each other. We always kind of laughed about it, that like, oh, like, our friendship kind of randomly got them together. How did I get so lucky? And uh, here we are today. Your heart is sweet like honey. And in the evenings when we settle in bed, it's like you're in my head. How did I get so lucky? I know how deeply these two care for each other and love one another. Um, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness to their commitment to a lifetime of love together. So, I'm in love with you. What are we gonna do? Uh, as we celebrate this bond of unity today, it is important that we keep in mind that while this is certainly an occasion of joy, the promises we witness here today are serious and life-altering commitments with simultaneous feelings of elation and expressions of respect that we proceed. You make me feel loved, protected, or we could talk forever on the couch, sipping bourbon, please. So, I'm in love with you. What are we gonna do? I don't know if I can do this. So, I'm in love with you. What are we gonna do? when you are not looking for someone is when you find your person. But that's exactly how it worked out for me. I had all but given up on relationships, but from the very first moment we met, I knew there was something different about you and I had to see where it would lead to, which is why I never gave up, even after all your rejections. 
and look where that has led us today. The emo boy and the cheerleader getting married. <laughs> I know I'm not the greatest at feelings, but I'm so happy you chose to do life with me. Cheers to us, babe. Let's have some fun. Love always, Alex. To my husband on our wedding day. I can't believe that our meeting at Republic has led us here today. I know I played hard to get, and I'm so grateful that you kept sliding into my DMs and that my stubbornness didn't turn you away. You came into my life, and you have since changed it for the better. I love how calm you can be, especially when I'm coming in like a hurricane. You are the reason why. I love how we can just lay on the couch and somehow start busting up laughing together. But most of all, I love how we never take ourselves too seriously and always respect one another. I love the life that we have built so far, owning our home and having our first child, Pilot. Who gives us more today? In the past seven years, are any indication of what's to come, we can't wait to see what's in store for us in the future, building the rest of our lives together. I love you, Tommy Furia. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Love always, your wife, Katrina. Chico, and where he is now, standing here with his beautiful bride to be. Uh, back then, he had no tattoos, no beard, he barely lifted weights. Uh, he wore all black at all times, and he'd actually be constantly poking whoever was next to him, saying, Can I have that? <laughs> One of the things that hasn't changed about him, channeling his inner emo. The next thing I hear, Al is stomping down the stairs hair flipping on every step. And Al chimes in with a, haven't you people ever heard of closing the damn door? I'm trying to watch the Sharks game, bro. Those might not have been his exact words, but it's my story and I'm sticking to it. You have always been a great friend and I'm so happy you found the love of your life in Katrina. And Katrina, I want you to know, before Al met you, he walked a lonely road. <laughs> The only one that he had ever known. Um, but even with all the change in his life over the last 15 years, the best addition by far and away has been Katrina. Katrina, you look phenomenal. You bring out the best in Al. Um, you know, and you, you, I've never really seen him happier. Katrina is a gem of a friend. Even to this day, Katrina really does inspire me. She always goes after what she wants. Uh, she's a true leader at heart. Katrina was always a strong-willed, smart, independent, and at times a bit with an attitude, and she will launch on any given notice. When Katrina entered the fifth grade, she was tasked with writing a short essay on what her family had done over the summer. One day during parent-teacher conference, we saw her work posted on the wall. Her response was only two words. We partied. He's not only outgoing and friendly and sassy, but um, she is DTMFR, which is down to mother effing rage. <laughs> Katie and I looked at each other thinking, what have we created? Um, Al completely caught her off guard when he ended up popping the question. And it happened just as I'm sure we all imagined. 
Al on one knee in bright pink swim trunks, <laughs> shirtless, flaunting his tattoos, <laughs> on, a, on a catamaran in Cancun in front of the entire family, essentially asking one more time, can I have that? <laughs> When I'm engaged with Val and Katrina, I'm always enjoying myself. Um, they constantly radiate happiness together, and it affects not just them, but all of those around them. And I'm certain that's a part of what makes them so special to each of us, how happy and content we feel when we are with them. So, Al and Katrina, uh, I would like now to invite you to publicly speak your commitment to your forever partnership to one another. I, Katrina, choose you, Al to be my partner in life. I, Al, choose you, Katrina, to be my partner in life. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support and encourage you through all your dreams, to stand by your side through thick and thin. Thou to be your best friend, your confidant, and your soulmate. I will cherish and honor you for as long as I live. I will cherish and honor you for as long as we live. Your wedding rings are special. Uh, they enhance who you are, and they mark the beginning of your journey to heaven. Al, Katrina, do you take one another to live together in the union of marriage, to take as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days? I do. I do. It is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Al, you make us the bride. <laughs> chest.